Well, folks, you might want to stop rolling your fat doobies around because gamers are losing their mind, and understandably so. Wait for the climax, wait for the plot twist, because right now, gamers are and brothers are exposing everything and everybody right now. Like the video if you do not want woke crap in your games, dislike the video if you love characters Bruh. like that. Brothers are also worried about GTA 6. Guys, this is my Twitter, I would love to have you over on Twitter as well. Uh, definitely uh, feel free to follow, but apparently, Sigas are worried and paranoid that Lucia Bruna is gonna get nerfed out that Jason is gonna be emasculated as well. Bro, if these Sega's do that to GTA 6, it's like Joe over. What do you think about it? But first of all, let me play you this and wait for it, guys. Get ready for climax. The thought that a heterosexual white man is having fun somewhere, like, haunts her at night. All Look at all of these PlayStation exclusives here that are being written by Sweet Baby Inc. Oh, and man. let's be reminded that Mary Jane was supposed to be a supermodel, but in Spider-Man 2, in Woke Spider-Man 2, they make her look <laughs> like an ugly oh, dude and it's like nobody wants it nobody wants it and we're not and, and yeah this is coming from andy he's an xbox youtuber and i mean he loves xbox perfectly fine he ain't lying though first of all i know like seconds are gonna be like oh he's an xbox fanboy oh he's a playstation fanboy guys like playstation and xbox both of these are plastics we play games on it uh banter is perfectly fine but this matter is bigger than that same is happening with microsoft right look at that fable character this is an xbox Bruh. game and microsoft recently came out and they said that we we do not want curvy female characters so it's happening in playstation it's happening in xbox and i'll talk about why it's happening and why we have games because playstation has games that are not woke like hell divers and stellar blade as well and they're mad about it right and xbox also have non-woke games i believe that i could be wrong you correct me if i'm wrong uh if i'm wrong because i don't have xbox but i think hi-fi rush uh is something that people loved and it's also not woke uh correct me if i'm wrong but uh wait for it wait for it we'll talk playing about these it. games we want normal ass video games for straight guys yeah back when things were funny when things were edgy and people didn't get their fucking feelings hurt all yeah. the time. What's yeah. going on, guys? So the woke PlayStation 5 is in a tailspin because nobody wants to play these trash games that they keep coming out with. Uh, you might have seen a report that PlayStation 5 sales were up slightly in the UK right now, but that's because Microsoft is an ecosystem. People are playing Xbox Game Pass on their Steam Deck, on their Rogue Ally, on their PC, on their Xbox. The difference yeah, Xbox sales are also down big time, right? Like, Xbox is not uh, bringing in the revenue the way they, they, they wish they did. PlayStation, I mean, they're doing good but like their stock lost 10 billion dollars so even though like playstation is doing good but sony stock fell 10 billion so in return they're losing money i wonder why that's the case i wonder why that is right between playstation and xbox is that playstation is all in on the ps5 console that's all they're selling is the ps5 console whereas xbox game pass is on pc it's on steam deck it's on multiple xbox consoles and so of course we're, we might see a little bump of ps5 consoles from time to time but it is okay. a dying brand another thing many people do not know is that PlayStation counts every PS portal as a PS5 sale. So those PS5 numbers aren't even ac accurate. Secondly, they also count PS5s that are sold to Best Buy. So these aren't even in people's living rooms. They're just piling up at Best Buy. But guys, what I really want to talk about in this video is how yeah! low the PlayStation has become and how it is fully aligned. PlayStation yeah. is working with PlayStation fanboyism and Xbox fanboyism aside because I know like uh, I'm going to see those comments and fear, right? But here's the thing though. W uh, the, the, the topic of discussion is bigger than guys like it's bigger than PlayStation fanboy and Xbox fanboy. We're seeing gaming getting destroyed in front of our eyes right for the longest amount of time and woke isn't the only issue here woke is a big part don't get me wrong but it's also like microtransactions the 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 bbc bundles the the, the friendly you know what i mean like the 20 dollar bundles we in, instead of getting content in games we're getting these bundles these microtransactions and on top you got sweet baby inc as well injecting their politics into the game the woke bull squash and then you also have dei forced diversity people don't care about diversity everybody's cool with diversity when it's done right you know for the longest amount of time we had diverse characters when it made sense and you know what it's beautiful for example like gta4 uh had like ballad of gay tony right tony was gay and we also had use of he was middle eastern uh in the game middle eastern guy in the game as well and we also have a lot of other games that you know their protagonist is actually an asian guy and people love it suckers love it brothers love it you love it i love it we all love it because why why? Because why the games have a really good narrative, really good gameplay, without any woke crap into it, and also it makes sense. It's a good piece of art. But now we're seeing all this crap. I mean, 2020, I believe that's when Last of Us 2 released, and yep, 
uh, no, uh, no, no crap. Like, people did talk about, like, Abby, the Brock Lesnar, and all that, that it's woke and all that, and rightfully so, but, you know, the conversation back then wasn't that big, because we were seeing this crap come in, but it wasn't, like, in all the games. I'll get down to, like, the actual crux of the problem, because uh, why is it that some Xbox games are woke, and why is it that some PlayStation games are woke, and why others are not? On the both sides, we'll, we'll get down to it, all right? Baby Inc., and they are leading the way on woke video games. Now, you might say, Andrew, uh, uh, Xbox's, oh, Fable's character, well, they had an ugly character, so they're woke, and I would agree. Um, yeah. Xbox's uh, head of marketing manager or something came out uh, attacking white people, yeah. and it's silly, dude, and, and I will not support or play any game that is racist against white people. I will not fair. play these games fair, fair, fair. that actively target heterosexual white men and demonize them because it's silly. Yeah. Because they're unable to see their own irony and the fact that they're being racist towards another group, but they're complaining about racism. So it's very ironic. <clears throat> but guys, can we just reflect for a second on the glory of video games from 2000 yeah. to 2024? Um, people will crap. sometimes tell you that these games were not diverse enough. Um, I disagree. Yeah. Lamar and Franklin are two of my favorite characters of all time in GTA yeah, 5. Yeah, everybody loved the, that duo and everybody, and GTA 5 is the best selling game of all time. I wonder why. They they really tried to make a good dang game with a good story and GTA 5 had diverse characters. You know what I mean? Like, I, I believe it also had like a, uh, I, I cannot say that word on YouTube, but it also had Asian guys uh, in the game as well uh, obviously like uh, you know the main characters uh, were franklin black guy uh, we also had michael white guy uh trevor kind of like the um uh, you know that that i cannot say that word on youtube that that's the Bruh. thing though like it, this is how far ha we have gotten this is how far we have fallen guys like uh, yeah because like in my mind i know the word i want to say it but it's like i know i cannot so like i'm actively searching for a new word and since i'm recording a video i, I just cannot think of it i cannot think of like another word this, this is Bruh. this is a real shame man it's a real problem i cannot think of an equivalent and alternative word here to describe i've um, Walking Dead had a black main protagonist and was game of the year. And but the thing is that it wasn't forced in by yeah. some woke trainee who works at a development company. So I have no problem with and I, and I even love black characters when they're done yeah. well and when they make yeah. sense. And, uh, you know, down here when they're Bro, gamers really don't care about like whether you have a BBC friendly UAV online or LBC or LWC or L, uh, LBC. Suckers don't care what you got in your pants, bro. Suckers don't care what religion you follow. Suckers don't care about your race. Suckers don't care about your ethnicity. We all just want a good game. We vibe with people that are cool with us. You feel what I'm saying? Regardless of where they come from, regardless of who they worship, regardless whether they're atheist or religious, we don't care. Regardless whether they're LGB or not, we just want a good game. But but people have obviously a problem, and understandably, myself included, we all have a problem with the fact that you guys are shoving trash down people's throats every single day in all the movies now it's creeping up in games as well and like i was talking about it wasn't like the main problem back in the days right like yeah last of us 2 people complain about it spider-man 2 good game on paper last of us 2 good game on paper got a lot of good things about it and you know what i'm gonna appreciate the good things but obviously we're gonna be critical here too we're gonna be calling out the bold squash in it mary jane they turned her into a dude gave her testosterone spider-man is a superhero game why is it that spider-man was gonna die in the game why like obviously okay we can get to that near ending situation where he's gonna die but then he can pull himself out of it that's gonna be good but it's like you guys made it so <laughs> he needed mary jane to survive <laughs> yeah if, if mary jane wasn't present our superhero spider-man would have died for crying out loud though it's like a superhero game in a normal scenario in a normal game yeah like if your if your waifu or your girl uh saved you that's beautiful but clearly we see the woke politics and the woke girl boss and the woke politics into the game it's like bro you are what are we talking about it's a superhero game he should be able to do superhero crap but uh they also turn mary jane into an ugly chick it's not even a guy apparently uh, it's, not even, it's not even a girl it's a guy apparently and i think most of my bros would 
would agree with me on that one. Video games haven't had a diversity problem in like 20 years. I mean, there, sure, there was a point in which you'd see like a lot of white male lead characters in games, but ask any white dude if that matters to them to have a white main character. Yeah, like, nobody just cares. make your character like, where you can change their skin color, you know, do what Mass Effect did, problem solved. But see, that's not yeah. enough for these people because these people, let, let me just tell you who I'm talking about. I'm talking about this person right here. Oh, damn. This chick right here who is childless and owns a bunch of cats, it's not just enough for her to do her thing. She has to come work at a video game company and infect your games. Yeah. Because the thought that a heterosexual white man is having fun somewhere, like, haunts her at night. Damn. It's not enough for her to do her weird shit. She has to infect your world. She and, and listen, a lot of people are like, hey, live and let live. And I'm one of those guys like, okay, you, you want to have diversity. We have, we have been having diversity. Like diversity is not the issue. The forced diversity and the woke injection, woke politics injection in games. That's the real issue here. But woke, uh, woke is not the... M it's a big problem, but there's, like I was talking about, there are other issues at hand. And when you really think about it, guys, like Spider-Man 2, God of War Ragnarok, good games, really good games. God of War Ragnarok had, like, woke injection, but it wasn't too big. Spider-Man 2 had bigger injection than, than that. Last of Us 2, way bigger injection, way bigger woke injection into that. But other than that, the games were good. Now, why is it happening in some Xbox games? And why is it happening in some PlayStation games and not in every PlayStation or Xbox game? Simply put, uh, that the companies that are getting big and large right now, they are pushing for that woke crap. Spider-Man 2, Insomnia got big. Good studio, don't get me wrong. Like, you know what? I'm gonna give credit where it's due. Like, games are good. But, minus the woke bull crap in it. But why is it that Hell Diaries refuses to put woke flags in it and do that woke crap in it, right? Because, yeah, they were told to do it and they said that, nah, bro, we don't want to have it. They simply refused. Why is that? I, I feel like that the indie devs and the smaller game companies, the AA devs, they are truly passionate because you know what? They are building their own studios from scratch and they want to make games for gamers without any woke bull crap in it, without any politics. And guess what? People love it. Paul World, Hell Divers, I believe Hi Fire Rush, uh, correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, I, I, Hi Fire Rush, uh, people loved it. I remember seeing that good feedback from the Xbox fans as well, which is uh, uh, very, very good. But I'm not sure if it had woke stuff in it or not. I mean, 90% 90 90 of the time, 99% of the time, the indie devs are the ones that are truly passionate about their games and are truly pumping out good games. Stellar Blade, another example. And if we're seeing the the, the 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 meltdown that's happening all across the video game industry because you know what, e, e, how dare they actually make a female character? They're really having a meltdown right now. I wonder why. I wonder, not every game need that woke crap. And if you guys want to make games for your target audience, you know what, that's fair. That's fair. You want to make the, the, the woke game for woke crowd? Perfectly fine by me, perfectly fine by a lot of people, but you go ahead and make your own game rather than injecting the politics and ideologies in already re ready-made franchises that never had that crap to begin with. For example, GTA 4, I always give this example, obviously it had like uh, LGB representation, but I wouldn't call that woke because it felt natural, they did it the right way, you know what I mean, right? And, and it did not felt pushy and they didn't push agendas down everybody's throat. You know, that's representation done well versus the crap that's happening right now. And they're, seriously, they think that gamers are racist, but they are the ones literally dividing the gamers right now. They're dividing everybody right now. They are the ones doing that. Indoctrinate your children. She has to try to infect your world and everything you're doing. Um, they are not content. These woke activists, these trannies and these LGBTQ people, they say it's about diversity. They really want to indoctrinate your children. They want to infect the media that you and I consume. Yeah. Um, but yeah, guys, yeah, yeah. just this little set of thumbnails here reminds me of a time when gaming was good. Um, you've got Saints oh, Row man. 3 with hot women in it. You've got Arkham City uh, uh, 2011 with hot women in it. Yeah! <laughs> We cannot have that nowadays, bro. You had diverse and funny characters in GTA 5 and Walking Dead. 
Um, you had hot women, Tomb Raider. You had diversity in San Andreas. Man, I truly do hope that GTA 6 doesn't turn out like that because suckers are already making memes. I mean, memes are fine, but like, man, we made it like 13. Uh, and by the time it comes out, it would be 13 years. So let me just say, we made it 13 years for a damn GTA game, man. We don't wanna see GTA 6 be butchered. Now, don't get me wrong, GTA 6 is gonna be woke. It's, let's be real, guys. It's, it's gonna be slightly woke. And, and uh, to the degree it's gonna be woke, uh, we don't know to what degree it's gonna be woke, but I guess it's gonna be slightly woke to the point where it feels normal and natural. What I mean by this is that obviously in the real world, you know, there is like woke crap, so I think they're gonna do it that way. It's like a parody of real life. So I think if they do it that way and they're not pushing agendas down people's throat, I, I think it's gonna be fine. But if it turns out the way we're seeing the gaming industry or, or uh, the, the route that the gaming industry is going in, if it goes in that direction, then obviously this is gonna start WW5 in gaming. Everybody's gonna talk about it. That's gonna be the hot topic. Another one, I, I should say, and it's, uh, it's gonna be really, really wild. But hopefully they do not ruin GTA. 6 because GTA 6 is a uh, you know a lot of people have been waiting for that game and gamers simply just want a good game bro that's what it comes down to gamers don't care gamers are like bro live and let other people live it <laughs> and I just want to play my video games simply that's where gamers are at bro like seriously bro like what you the had hell is going on beautiful women in Resident Evil 5 and dead or alive um we didn't have a problem we never had a problem with with diversity now, it is true that heterosexual men, straight, normal guys, were making these games. But what we've seen with all of this crap that PlayStation is leading the way on, guys, yeah. PlayStation is the number one offender and creator of all of this nonsense. But the thing about PlayStation is that they hate gamers. They hate straight gamers, definitely. So if you're black, Mexican, Latino, Asian, whatever you are, yeah. just know that they hate you. But they particularly hate people like me, white, normal male gamers. <clears throat> my brother in law, my brother in law and I, uh, he's, he's only 20 years old, but he plays a Dang. lot of the same games that I play. And he and I were sitting around kind of bemoaning, like what happened to video games? Like what happened to the edge? Yes. What happened to when games were edgy and funny and I hilarious? Did. Um, yeah. <clears throat> like games like Fallout New Vegas, like you can tell that Fallout New Vegas was made by a bunch of straight guys hanging out goofing off make, telling each other jokes trying to get each other to laugh and that's homophobic <laughs> that's what they're gonna say but not nah, they don't they do not realize that all of this stuff is heterophobic to us too you know guys yes video games it, it's a boys club because it's a bunch of dudes that play these games my here's my whole argument is like do I go into the Hallmark industry? Do I go into the Hallmark romantic movie industry and complain about the fact that there's no representation in there? No, because I don't care. Yeah. And that is why the dishonesty of groups like these, the incredible dishonesty of these This is, this is why DEI is bad. Diversity, uh, inclusivity, whatever. Like these terms don't even, crazy, right? Forced diversity is the problem because they hire people that are not even talented. They hire people that don't even know what the hell their audience wants. They, they hire people that don't even care about gaming and they hate gamers. So obviously the product is going to turn out the way it is. For example, like, uh, uh, let me just uh, use this as an example so it's easy. For example, like if I was somebody that didn't know anything about Marvel and I was hired by Marvel to make their movies, obviously I'm going to ruin their brand because I do not even know what the hell is happening in Marvel. If I, and I should never be hired by Marvel if I don't have any knowledge of Marvel. You understand like what's happening? But they, these things are like, nah, bro, we hire everybody that's not, that doesn't even know about gaming because we need to ruin gaming. That's what's happening. Like, why? Like, bruh, like, come on. Like, it's bruh. Bruh. Yes, you might be gamers, but you putting a trans flag in a game is honestly as weird as me putting a Christian cross with a biblical message in a game. You know, I run a video game YouTube channel here and I occasionally mention the fact that I'm a Christian, but if I just incessantly talked about Christianity and Jesus, yeah. Jesus, this, uh, this and that. You uh, unless you have a religious channel, then that's different. But but yeah, that's a very good point. For example, like I'm Muslim, right? So if I was doing that like every video, then obviously you guys would be like, hey, like why? Like I feel excluded here, man. <laughs> so yeah, we don't talk about it because like it's a personal thing and it's like yeah whatever right like we do not like go around yeah bro like yeah man look at me i'm christian look at me i'm muslim right we don't do that yeah deep down you can be proud and that's perfectly fine like i'm sure he's proud of being christian i'm proud of being a muslim but it's like dog we are not injecting our agendas down other people's throats if it's our if you're running a religious channel then obviously that's different and if you're running a woke channel like i said okay yeah fair you're gonna talk about woke crap uh, and if you have a game studio about making games woke games yeah fair you can go ahead and make your own woke games 
but they are literally injecting that crap into already uh, ready-made games that didn't have that kind of crap to begin with. You film wouldn't want to watch it anymore, and it's the same way with tranny ideology is that they put this gross nonsense in all of their games um and it's like nobody wants it nobody wants it and we're not playing these games we want normal ass video games for yeah. straight guys back when things were funny when things were edgy and people didn't get their fucking feelings hurt all the time yeah yeah um, yeah, yeah, yeah but guys I, I, I think it's hilarious every time i and uh, he says or you guys or all of us whenever i hear someone say like we want games for straight gamers i'm like what is going on? <laughs> How we have fallen through, like, holy shit. You, you know what I'm saying? Like, because I never heard anybody utter those words that, hey, I want a game for a straight guy. Holy sh uh, holy crap. Like, uh, it used to be gamers, we were gamers and we want games made for gamers. And we truly want games made for gamers, but it's like, now it's all of this. Everybody's playing that race card, gender card, and all that, right? Guys, let's uh, let's let's look at the chief offender here, and that is the woke station five. Um, look, if you're into this, you're gay or you're a trainee. Like I don't know how else to say it. If you are attracted to a woman with buff arms like this, surprise, you're gay. I don't I don't know how else to say it. Uh, maybe if you're a beta male like Neil Cuckman down here you're attracted to this, but I don't know any dudes who are, who are attracted to this. Uh, I mean, Last of Us 2 definitely like made, uh, holy crap. I remember when that game came out, like sickers were talking about it because they just killed, they also killed Joel, right? Straight guy, dad, they don't want to have a family, right? Like kill families, we don't like families. Yeah, I mean, this agenda is definitely there to destroy a nuclear family. Uh, I mean, you go figure why they did that, right? So. So what we're seeing with the PlayStation brand now is that attractive women are made ugly. Um, women that are allowed to stay attractive are now lesbians and are only into women. They're not into men. And then, Yay, uh, this one, you know, right? again here, attractive woman made ugly, attractive woman made ugly, uh, attractive. Like, I'm sure this woman is actually attractive in real life, but they had to make her ugly, uh, ugly in the game because, you know, woke feminism or something. Um, look at the beta male, Neil Druckmann. No can do writers work off of their views of the world. For example, the ending of The Last of Us is very much inspired by my personal politics. Yeah. This dude is a beta male. He worked closely with uh, Anita Sarkeesian from Gamergate One. <clears throat> and guys, just in case you were confused about how woke PlayStation has become, Sony's censorship of Japanese games is the beginning of a self-inflicted wound. Sony is reportedly changing- uh, Sony censorship, yeah. Uh, Sony is a, uh, yeah, crazy bro. Looking at standards for sexual content in new PlayStation games in response to the hashtag Me Too, Me Too movement and live streaming. The, the <laughs> rabbit hole truly goes deep on both sides, like PlayStation, Microsoft, and like I was saying, like the bigger a company gets, uh, it's, yeah, we're gonna see that crap, right? So indie games and indie devs are truly the, the ones that care for the gamers, like I was talking about hell divers and all that guys wake up people don't want these games people aren't gonna buy these games but guys moving on to the and, and and another thing here is that for the longest amount of time nobody really had a problem with uh, people just have a problem with when the agenda is being pushed down their throats and when people are being told what to do nobody likes that seriously nobody likes that and we're now seeing them like upping a notch to 11 back then it was like okay here and there and you know what yeah i'm a live and let live kind of guy so it's like if there is one two woke games out there out of 10 yeah okay whatever right yeah whatever but it's like now it's like nine games out of 10 games that are woke so now you're literally seeing everybody everybody talk about in gaming it's still not everybody but but you understand like people that would never talk about like the woke politics are the ones that are, are actually talking about it and i never thought that i would be talking about this crap uh, i never did till it came in video games until we started seeing the that this shift happen right and now you guys are talking he's talking i'm talking other channels a lot of channels are talking everybody's talking because everybody had enough you know, people, gamers had enough, people had enough. Sweet Baby Inc. involvement. When you when you first open up the Sweet Baby Inc. site, this is what you see. Alan Wake 2. Uh, oh. Remedy is owned by Epic Games. Epic Games has deep relationships with the Game Awards. They have relationships with... Um, Okay, I don't have knowledge about Alan Wake 2, but I know God of War Ragnarok had that. Yes, Spider-Man 2, absolutely. Uh, Ragnarok, uh, a little bit. I believe they changed that chick uh, from white to black, if I'm not mistaken. Bruh. They have uh, deep relationships with the Game Awards. They have deep relationships with PlayStation. And all look at all of these PlayStation exclusives Holy here crap. that are being written by Sweet Baby Inc. Yeah. Um, these people pushing transgender ideology that nobody wants, pushing woke trainee ideology that nobody wants. But guys, like I said, it's not enough for them to do their weird shit. Oh, yeah, they this have one to too, infect. Right? Like, they have to indoctrinate. 
They're coming for your kids. They're coming for your movies. They're coming for your shows. Oh, this is a panel from a Spider-Man comic in the 70s or 80s. And let's be reminded that Mary Jane was supposed to be a supermodel. But in Spider-Man 2, in Woke Spider-Man 2, they make her look like an ugly dude. And this yeah. is because white men and straight men are not allowed to enjoy anything anymore yeah and look at this Self ugly insert. chick who was yeah. the lead writer at insomniac like dude oh, women man. i'm sorry women are ruining video games it would be the same as if i went over to hallmark the, the liberal white women they truly are ruining video games um uh, if like you're liberal i mean it doesn't even matter whether you're conservative or liberal to me as long you should be hired based off of your talent and if this person knows about video games yes yeah, she should be hired absolutely so i'm not like against that but it's like we're seeing diversity force diversity hires uh people that are that don't even know why gamers play games uh and they're ruining games right now simple simple as that and they turned that uh cat woman black cat uh into lesbian as well but she was never to begin with, but now apparently she is she is supposed to be the hot girl in spider-man but now she turns out to be lesbian as well. so go go figure and guys click on this video on the screen yeah lawsuits are being handed left and right Lawsuits are being handed left and right with the sweet baby. <laughs> Click on it and I'll see you right there.